minus a base and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Currently 10 to 11 in the morning. Um, I've had an email saying that my uh, delivery is coming today, which is great because it's supposed to come tomorrow. But yeah, it's coming today, it's coming a day early. Uh, looking forward to getting that because it's a new phone case. Um, same material as this one. Um, but it's got Santas all over it, so it's just covered in Santas. I will show you it when I get it and I will unwrap it in front of you. Uh, but yeah, I got a new, I bought myself a new phone case. Mainly because I've only got this one and I want to change it up a bit. Um, but it's only going to be usable for Christmas. But I just wanted to feel more Christmassy and put a Christmas phone case on. Because I've seen someone like in public with a um, Christmas phone case. I was like, that's a great idea. But yeah, 10 to 11 in the morning. Um, I've woken up reading the toilet again quite often. So I'm going to wait till that settles down before I go downstairs. Because I just don't want to. I've got to go to hospital today. And I don't want to be going to um, constantly go to the toilet hospital as well. Even though it is most likely to happen. But if I wait here and let my body wake up and flush yourself out or whatever. Then yeah. But I hope has a tendency to lay between my legs on the morning because obviously she gets let, let out the kitchen um, with Queenie when my brother and sister go to school so this morning Hope's been let out um, she's come onto my bed and she's plonked herself right next to my leg like a block so like when I've woken up she's been literally cemented next to my leg which meant that I cannot move my legs because she's my baby and she wakes she jumps to my bed every morning wake up I wake up to her every morning lay next to me so this morning that's why there's that there that bit there that's where my leg was so I've had to gently pull it out anyway I was planning on going out this morning but it didn't go to happen now um, I've got hospital at uh, Bradford at 1.45, so I'm going to get picked up at half 12. I'm missing my work today. I've got the day off for it, but yeah. Had a nice sleep in, my stomach's rumbling, which is great in some aspects, but it's like. Mm. Um, but yeah, I had a great nice sleep last night. Not really much else to update you on. I went to bed late again, went to bed about 10 to 2. Put alarm on for quarter past ten. Woke up at quarter past ten to alarm and put it on for half ten because I was like, oh, I need some more sleep. My hands are still bad. And I'm on my camera today, so you've got a better resolution until when I go out, I'll take my phone. So yeah, number 19 is here. Guys, we've only got four more days. And of course, it's a Lindor ball. It's nearly two months, guys. Look at that cute face. Yesterday, because my... Oh, I've got seven minutes. Anyway, yesterday, I was just telling one more thing. Um, we, I was on my laptop editing my videos. And I have hun thousands of pictures of, like, old, old pictures. From, like, 20... 2008, 2008 guys, I have thousands of pictures and obviously some of them are, f or most, some of, quite a lot of them are of Sky when she was younger, when she wasn't grey, when she didn't age, but like in these photos she's rather grey because she's old, but yeah, I miss her every day. It's like today I'm like, wow, I would I have a dog? Because so many days I'm like, oh my gosh, would I have a dog? I want a dog. But we're thinking of getting one next year. We're thinking about it. Most likely, yeah, but we've got the cats at the moment. If we didn't have the cats, it'd be much, much worse. Because then that's the dog and the cats gone. But no, we've got, the, we've got our babies still. But it's it just feels like this guy's going to come home any minute and it's going to be like, if. That's what it feels like. It feels like we're going to go pick up from the kennels. Or if she walks into the house, it'll be fine. Because it doesn't feel like she's been away for a month on holiday. 
but it's like she's never coming back and that's what my brain can't get because I'm like I'm so used to coming to my bedroom and pacing and they wanting to go out and stuff and now she ain't it's oh, it's, it's it's a hard adjustment especially for Christmas because Christmas every Christmas day we've had her for 11 years we've had her for 11 Christmases guys and now that we don't have her it's like the first time ever we've not had a dog for Christmas and it's like wow like we're not used to that so on Christmas day when when she was here she um she was sniffing out a present under the tree which I wrapped for her she got a marquee she got her toys um and then she was like when we unwrapped everything Luz got excited she was running backwards and forwards over the wrapping paper was telling her to stop was like telling her off but that's a good memory because she were there and this year which is not we didn't know last year she was gonna be last christmas but like this year she's not here so it's gonna be like no dog running over the newspaper and yeah anyway guys i'm going to see him in a bit and he's got the loo again and it's now 11 o'clock yeah 10 56 uh so yeah i'll see you in a bit guys so I have just put my washing upstairs. It's all dry. Well, most of it's dry. My jack rolls should put in dry and some um, other stuff in dry. It's now literally twelve o'clock. It's just going twelve o'clock um, lunchtime, and I'm getting picked up in half an hour. So it means I have to find something to wear. I don't have anything to wear because it's all in the wash. Well, I do have stuff for whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and breakfast. Watched Big Bang. Watched an episode of Big Bang. Big Bang. Big Bang Theory on TV. I'm now in my wardrobe, find something to wear. I'll show you now what I've got Lucy because I tried to show you on. Another vlogmas look. If you saw somewhere for Christmas Day, I need to buy tights for this. So I'll be buying tight teats. I'll be buying tights this weekend. Um, but I tried to show you what about Lucy. But unfortunately, Lucy ended up coming into my bedroom when I was showing you. So I ended up deleting it. Um, but I'll show you now because she's at school. So I got her three items. Has her birth mind my bedroom, guys? My me, my wardrobe. I'm gonna show you quickly because I do have to get ready. But just mind the wardrobe, it is a mess, there's food everywhere and stuff, as in like like there and there, but it's getting sorted out. So her birthday is a month after Christmas, so I decided to get her three things so far. But this is all I'm getting her, so I'll give her two of these for Christmas and one of them for her birthday. So I got her the little ride along tram, please. If you have any, t like, if you think I should, um, tell me your opinion, should I give her... The Ride Along Tram for Christmas. I got her the Ride Along Tram from Home Sense in Geisley. I also got her the Sweet Raspberry Home, um, which I saw in Asda, and it was 1997, as in £19.97p. And then I went to Argos, and it was 20 quid, so we got it two quid off. So I got that from Argos, and then I also got her the Designer Studio from. Uh, her, no, TK Maxx again. I got uh, that and the Red Line Tram from TK Maxx. So I got the Designer Studio as well um, from Sylvan Families. So Simon's coming along. Should I give her the Red Line? Which one should I give her for Christmas? Two of them for Christmas, one for her birthday. The Red Line Tram, the Sweet Raspberry Home, or the Designer Studio. I am actually thinking about giving her that for Christmas because that connects to um, the cot um, Cozy Cottage Start Home set. Um, so. I don't know which one to go for Christmas. It depends which I'm more excited for her to see. But she's getting one a month later. But yeah, I got her them. And that's her Christmas presents. And that's all my wardrobe, guys. Um, uh, trying to find something to wear. It's awful. Ugh. Just, I'm thinking I'm wearing jeans. And I, I always wear jeans. Always. Jeans are like my staple. Wear. I need some new ones actually. Wear jeans, a top, and a jumper. Wear my Olaf top. First thing about the Olaf top is that 
I don't really like wearing it because it's got this awful tag right there and it itches my neck, it irritates the back of my neck. <clears throat> and so does this one, that's why I don't really wear that one either. But all the other ones are all like summer tops, so no. I could wear the, well I'll wear this one because this one I've got a tag to it. I'm going to have to buy some more um, tops when I go into Leeds. I'm not giving you a date when, but when I go to Leeds I'm going to have to buy some more clothes because I need Christmas clothes and also like just more tops because I've given away so many to charity that I've actually got, literally got none left. Um, but yes, I don't know what jumper to wear now. I need jumper. Oh, this is great, isn't it, guys? Like, I need more jumpers as well. So I don't like wearing Jack Rose ones because I don't want to stain them. And they are like 50, 60 quid, so that's why I don't hardly wear them. I don't want something that's not stained, like... I would wear this top, but unfortunately it's got stains in it, even though it's been in the wash. Um, unfortunately. So it's quite irritating. Anyway guys, it's now 5 past 12. I'm not ready, so I need to see you in a bit, guys. I'll see you either on the way there or before that. I'm back home now. Um, next year, so I'm just trying to position the tripod, and I'm hungry, so mind my growling stomach. I'm going to get something to eat once I've filmed this. I haven't had eaten since this morning. I'm back home. Um, the outcome of the appointment is I'm having surgery next year. I'm having surgery. I have to stay in hospital for two days. Um, they're treating it as an open fracture because of surgery. Um, yeah, I'm having surgery next year. Uh, so yes, I don't know what to say. I, knew, I had a feeling it was going to be the outcome of it. I got my parcel. Um, I had a feeling it was going to be the outcome. But like two days in hospital. He asked me, I'm allergic to iodine, all this and the other, and then asked mentioned my heart condition, and then he was like, ah, that could affect surgery, so he's contacted my cardiologist. But yes, I'm on surgery next year, so be expecting videos to stop for a good month, because I have to be off my foot for two weeks, and um, I think it's either two, week, two weeks or six weeks. But yes, I am scared. I'm going to just... Like, it's the best for my ankle. My ankle's in much more pain. Yeah, I did film my feet. That was it. Anyway, I'm going up my bathroom now. Like, two days in hospital. I never spent a day in hospital. Last time. Look how big. Amazon. Amazon, look how big. How big does your box need to be for such a small item? Come on, Amazon. I got myself a phone, guys. This is going to my phone right this minute, if I can open it. Uh, but yeah, like, my head's buzzing right now because I had a feeling there's going to be the outcome of... Okay, that makes sense. The poly Obviously, it's just been painted or something, so polystyrene is actually coloured in there. I've got a phone case. I've got a Christmas phone case. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, look how cute. That is cute. I've got a Christmas phone case now, guys. It's gonna be weird getting used to it because obviously this phone case was only a penny and this one was 10 quid. Well, it was six pound, and then it was like four pound delivery. But yes, I needed it at Christmas for okay, so now I've got Christmas one. Anyway, that's that. Um, but yes, be expecting no videos for a month. I am already nervous. I know the approximate time I'm having it, and that's Easter. Um, the approximate time is Easter. So, 
yeah, don't really know what else to say. Is that I am nervous. Like two days in hospital. I've never spent a day or a night in hospital before. And knowing that now I'm like, if I was under 18, my mum could stay with me. But now I'm an adult, I have to stay in hospital overnight. And you know that I'm not, don't act like an adult. And my men, like men, mental age is not an adult. So like two nights in hospital away from my mum and like, yeah, it's just weird guys. And my brain cannot like, figure out like having to starve again and having the surgery and yeah i'm just trilling this thing yeah hi so basically it's now late in the evening it's now like quarter to nine at night and i'm gonna sign over here um just sorting this mess out she's been playing Anyway, just sorting her toys out. Um, I am just going to do that in a minute. Um, it's now quarter to nine and I've yet got to have my tea. I have just uploaded Vlogmas Day 18. Um, the surgery is still like throbbing in my head as I'm having surgery next year and it's a lot to take in. I've not had surgery for a couple of years now. Last time I had surgery was mouth surgery and that was like a day bed, a day surgery. Um, went in the morning and once I finished and they knew that I was going to the toilet all right and eating all right then they let me go um, but this surgery is much more invasive and it's ankle surgery and I have to stay in hospital for two days that is just getting in my head because there's that many things that I have in the night time like we have the landing light on I'm scared of the dark we have the landing light on my mum won't be there I'll be in hospital on my own for two days well, two nights. And that at the moment is just doing that in my head. Just knowing that I'm having surgery next year. It's like a big, it's a big thing. Yes, guys, thank you for watching. Like, this going come below. I'll see you all tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 20. Vlogmas Day 20. I remember starting this on Vlogmas Day 1. I remember Vlogmas Day 1 like it was yesterday. Anyway guys, this video is going to be like 30 minutes long because I need to get it edited and I need to get it uploaded. So guys, thank you for watching. Love you all. Be myself smile and I'll see you all tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 20. Bye guys.